trying to figure out how many pieces I need to order to do that because it's going to be a full semi-sphere. It's going to have 12 of these bottom sections to do semi semicircle. And I need 170 of these bricks because each alcove takes five. And then I'm going to be doing this as my torch design, but that's going to be a one by one modified with scroll. So it's going to be kind of artsy. I'm not going to use that. The final decision I got to make is how I want these alcoves to have their stands because I got a couple different versions. I've got the lightsaber stand on the one by one with the bar in it. I've got the telescope that's sitting on a one by two rounded with hollow studs. I have the, the telescope just on the brick. Same with that. Those are the same. Or I've got it on... Actually, they're both on the one by two. Um, I got to decide if I want lightsaber handles because that is half of a plate taller than that and works really well because it's a three plate it's a it's a one brick tall holocron but the sith one is only two plates tall so that sits nicely there but that is kind of in the ground i like the look for the sith holocrons for that i like the look of the jedi holocrons of that but that means i have to do more math because if i go with that then i don't need that one by two, but I need more of this piece here. And it's just a whole bunch of math that I don't want to do in my head. Uh, and I also have to figure out how I'm going to do these sides. I did find a, I was like a, a 10 by 16 by something door, an, an archway gate sort of thing that has uh double doors on it. I think I'm going to get those. So <clears throat> it'll extend out to about here on both sides. So that's going to be a huge base on that. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to fill in the intersection. I want to do some tiling. Oh, this is going to be a very expensive build. I'm also going to be doing a third tier up here. So you're going to have three alcoves. And I already figured out what I want to do for the top. Um, I'm going to not have the jumpers on top. I'm going to have this all fully tiled. They have four by four tiles. So I'm going to need a bunch of those. I think I need 12 of those to go across the top. And then right here, I'm going to have one of these half rounded one by ones right there. And then the uh, the collectible mini series, collectible mini figure series, rather, uh, mini figures all come with a a four by three modified tile that has four there, and that's gonna go right here because these studs are gonna go into the uh, the hollow parts on the bottom. So imagine, you know, four by three that section right there on top. Um, and that's going to make it nice and tiled off on the top. Then I also have to make the decision, do I want to light this up? Because if that's the case, then this top brick right here, that's a one by four that goes all the way back. I'm going to have to replace that by one by ones with the technicals so I can thread the lighting through there. And then in the back on these ones, I'll also have to change probably this one here, the second one here, because the this one and that one are gonna be those bricks. So those are gonna be one by four. So this one right here, I'll probably change that to also a Technic piece Let's 
so I can get lights through there into the back because I if I do lighting I'm gonna be having so many different lights and I'll have to make sure I can color them differently maybe I don't know um, have those in the back behind the holocrons because I want those to glow because if I'm gonna have the torches in the front glow I want the holocron alcoves to glow too um, and then I was just looking that back panel piece these ones just looking they don't make them in one by two by fours which sucks because if it was a if it was four studs high instead of three this would be the perfect piece to fit back there and you wouldn't have that lip in the back <sighs> but they don't make it also those uh in inverted angled one by twos are going to be replaced by another arch piece so that that round is going to extend all the way to the back but I wish those panels came in one by two by fours. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to mount this to the bottom, but I'm pretty sure if I watch some Hachiroku stuff, I'll be able to figure it out. And yeah, I got to figure out the sides. I got to calculate the numbers. A lot of decisions here. But I am very proud of how this came out. This is essentially this is the final build for it i just need to color correct it so you know full-on prototype right here and I'm, I'm very happy with how this came out especially it's the first time trying to build curves but i have to do math it's not fun see you guys